reach orbital speed and return safely. I keep forgetting the parachutes. No, go away, stop. Hold on a sec. Okay. And we want input craft mass. We'll say five tons. It's probably only four tons, but and we're using two. All right. That's how the Vegas launch should be. Save edits. Launch. Empty. Yes. Okay. So we don't need to go to the moon. We do sort of care about comms, so we'll shade a little bit southerly to make sure Amalek is happy. Okay, SAS on, throttle up, ignition, and launch. And here we go, testing our crew capsule. Will the Vegas be a reliable capsule or will it blow up immediately? We shall see. Okay, booster set. Whoa, that did something special. Well, one of the separatrons is probably off a bit. Alright, launch escape system jettison. Oh, that's supposed to go off a little bit weird. Okay, our two AJ-10 Hydrolox editions. Those are up there. Those are the ones down here. Uh, let's just... We, we obviously went a little bit too high. These can restart, so... Okay, well, uh, we should have gotten rid of that, so we might still be able to. Alright, Sepper... That's a lot of extra Delta V. That's promising. Separation. Okay, fuel cells. You doing things? It says running, but let's just... Okay, it is running. But we still have some drain, apparently. So watch out for that. Okay, retrograde. Okay. So, now. Now let's get this into a one and a half hour orbit. It doesn't care, right? It says reach... Oh, that's geostationary. Yeah, it's fine with this. Oh, the electric charge is fine now. Okay, so... I'm gonna have it hang out a little bit. We've got boil off of the... Or, yeah, we do have boil off of the fuel cell stuff. Because there's an imbalance between hydrogen and oxygen. So... We should put MLI layers on that, but I probably didn't. Um, let me see. RF boil off, no MLI. So yeah, I did not put MLI layers on the service module. We can do that, at least. Nobody's going to be arguing with that, but let's see how long it lasts. I'm going to try and dunk it somewhere in the Pacific. Yes, sorry, Atlantic. I need to check the calm situation with the pod. We might not have put strong enough comms. Okay, return. Yeah, I think the comms on this aren't the uh, 38 decibel millow milliwatts, milliwatts that we need in order to communicate with the comm sets. We also didn't put the forward RCS ports. Okay, we, we overshot the Atlantic. It's fine. This is a pod I made to replace the Advanced Command Pod, whatever it's called. It's basically a big Gemini. Roomier. For people my sized instead of Gus Grissom. <laughs> okay. Separation. We will not try lifting re-entry with this, even though I think... 
We have, yeah, we have the CM shifter here. We have descent mode, but we're not going to do descent mode. First, we'll try it without descent mode. And we are going to land in the Sahara Desert, probably. Okay, the parachutes are armed. We might end up in the Indian Ocean at this rate. It's not getting a whole lot of drag yet. The pod itself has a blader per the, whatchamacallit, advanced command pod. The heat shield itself looks like this right now. It's got to deplete most of the ablator. Okay, we have recovered that. So, we have managed that. Hopefully it counted that properly. Yes. Now, reach orbit and return safely to Earth, which is still uncrewed, we have to do. Before... I mean, I... Uh, well, no, actually, maybe that's not the one. That's optional. Cancel that. This one is the one that we have to do. Um, uncrewed. Yes, this is the test one. So we got that contract, we just have to do that same thing again. That's going to be really boring for, for viewers. So I think maybe we'll mix things up with the geostationary satellite. Let's throw a geostationary satellite up in between. So I think we'll modify the Usagi 2 which had enough delta V. We're not utilizing this fully. I'm going to utilize that fully. Does that change the... No, it doesn't change the tooling. Okay. we got to change what's inside here. Hopefully we can squeeze in the 25 units. No, that's just one liter. <laughs> we need... We need 25 units of ComSat payload. We're gonna need a new core, I think. Okay, and what's the tooling on that? Oh, 68, just 68 funds? Sounds good to me. Okay. I don't see any problem with this. We could up the strength of it. We should really buy the better tech levels, probably. But at least this will last for a while. I don't know if they take possession of it. They might. might. Okay. I think that's what I want. This will be... Geosagi. <laughs> Geosagi 1. After Usagi. Okay, we have our ComSat payload. We just need to get into a geosynchronous orbit. Hopefully we've got a good setup for that. SAS on, throttle is up. This is gonna be a lot trickier than in our geo state, uh, in our European Space Agency version because we're not as equatorial. We're, we're in fact worse off than Cape Canaveral, so it's gonna be interesting, especially comms at the equator, which we'll probably be relying on Omelik for or Kauai. SAS on, throttle is up, ignition, and launch. Okay, we are past the speed of sound, everything is looking good. So now, why did our boosters sort of go off weird on the crude launch? I don't really understand. On the test of the crude pod, I didn't really get why that was. No, we can flatten out much more. But a little bit of loft is good for the geostationary satellite anyway. Okay, booster set. And fairing set. Maybe I missed a engine malfunction when it came to the crude launch. Or, not crude launch, again. Launch of the crude pod, the Vegas pod. Okay. There we go. AJ-10 Hydrolox editions are active and both lit. Okay, it's getting a little bit out of control here. 
Maybe our apoapsis is right over the equator, actually. That might not be too bad. Oops. Well, this stage is 2073. Uh, 2473. Can we get to the right altitude like that? I think we'll need a little bit of the next stage. Okay. Probably a little bit late. Uh oh. Very late. We only have one engine. Finally, a failure. Okay. It's still probably all right. Let's see. It's got a maximum burn time of nine minutes and six seconds. And we've used a little bit. Well, we just crossed four minutes on it. And so we're asking about a little bit under 10 minutes from it. So it's probably not too bad. And it seems to be balanced. It's using a lot of pitch, but it's balanced. Not draining the MMH in Mon 3 that quickly. We've got extra helium over here too. Okay, um, let me just assess the comm situation. Oh, we've got, we've got commsat 3 right there. Okay. Insufficient avionics. Well, that'll be fixed soon. And it is fixed. Okay, well, that's a lot of inclination, isn't it? And we're not in phase with that particular situation. Well, we have 2,500 to work with. I don't think we're going to have a problem here. Uh, probably because of our sort of lopsided burn initially. We didn't really get the apoapsis where we wanted it at the equator. Oh, well, this one was a little bit too heavy too. Well, it's a little bit more, but anyway, we have to correct the inclination a little bit more. Oh, it's happy with this. Okay, it is happy with this. Let me just stop it. Okay, well, we fulfilled the first geostationary satellite contract. That was just an interim thing to break things up. Let's go back to the Space Center and then test the pod again. Advanced maneuvering freezes satellite in the sky. Yes. How's our Kerbal training going? Well, I mean, still July... Uh, basically a whole year left. Let me take a look at what was ha going on with the... Let's roll that back. I want to see what's going on with the booster set. Maybe it was just an engine failure that I didn't notice. Sometimes the engines seem to fail and they don't... say anything in the little uh, staging dialogue. I don't see anything wrong with the Separatrons. So, okay. SAS on, throttle up, ignition. And launch. Okay, we are past the speed of sound. Okay, booster set. That was lower than I expected. And launch escape system set. At least the boosters didn't go off weird. Okay, staging is up and ignition. And we've got two AJ-10s here. Okay, we have made orbit. And we'll try and circularize that a little bit better, but we'll get rid of the stage. Okay, deorbiting this. Oh, shoot, that's supposed to be retrograde. What? I told you to hold retrograde. Where are you controlling from? This actually has science. Why do you have science on board? It, they're both supposed to point through. It's not supposed to... Yeah, one failed, but maybe, uh, maybe with the payload on top. By the way, it should show that one failed on the side, but... Maybe it only works when there's one payload on top. Everything looks good here. We'll boost the periapsis, reduce the apoapsis so that we're in a nicer orbit, and then we'll bring it down. Oh, that's one thing we need to fix. The service module is supposed to have the MLI layers.
right. Well, we're gonna we'll just splash down in the Pacific. We totally can't miss. Okay, ignition. Okay, 70 kilometers. Okay. Service module separation. This is an abnormally long period for us not to have comms though. We might have to fix up our comms more. Well, I, I that's another thing I have to fix with this. I think it's probe core internal comms were not good enough. Hopefully I remember that this time. Here we go. Maybe we should have tried a lifting re-entry on this one. But maybe we'll wait until we need to. Interesting in response to the fact that I've turned this off even though we don't have comms. Okay, parachutes are out. Is that the sunrise or the sunset? I can't even tell. No, it looks like the sunrise to me. Oh no, it's sunset, sunset, sunset. Almost in sync with the music right there. Okay, all testing is done. Let's edit this. We have to make a few adjustments. First of all, finally, let's add some MLI layers to this. Well, have we not discovered? We haven't discovered MLI layers yet, I think. No wonders. I guess it's not a big problem. Uh, cancel edits. That should be... Okay. MLI layer is 50. Come on. Oh, maybe we haven't bought the... No. Okay, we haven't bought the MLI layer upgrade. Okay, we're buying the MLI layer upgrade. Okay. Okay, now we have MLI layers. And maybe we should make it look like MLI. There we go. Okay, so comms. This one is disabled. It's just the pod's own comms. Okay, so antenna planning. We probably want better communication technology for this. Let's see, we probably can unlock something new. So basically it's not got the bitrate for that. And even a Tundra sat or something like that. If, if it was lower, if we were communicating with a lower satellite, then it would be able to. The limit right now is 12,000 maybe? Let's see. Yeah, with uh, 36 decibel milliwatts, we could communicate with something 12,000 kilometers away. Unfortunately, it takes money to unlock the new tech level, so, so this takes 20,000. But we have a lot now. This is the highest tech level we have. We can afford tech level 4, so let's just unlock that. I think that automatically gives us tech level... Yeah, it automatically gives us tech level 3 as well. So we're trying to get this to communicate to one of the Geosagis. And that will be a geosynchronous level. And it's still not good, but now maybe we can get something? No? Okay, well, takes too much power. Uh, it doesn't do the receive part. S-band would, maybe, but not to these. This one has a S uh, the command pod itself. To another command pod, it still doesn't like it. So, uh, I don't know if that's very useful. I think we're going to have to abandon the idea that this is going to communicate with one of the geosynchronous satellites. It can communicate with one of the lower level satellites, not the Usagi. One of these guys. We, with the pod, we only had 30 before. We really needed 37 to get to those other satellites. So that will help. And we do have the... 
Oh, no, we did not get that on. Okay, foil. MLI layers. Uh, make sure to save that properly, hopefully, and save edits. Okay. So, yeah, probably we'll have to launch some other geosats and stuff like that. But for now, the four that we have, the CompSat 1 through 4, should be fine. So, we're building the crewed mission for the crewed orbit. We're going to pick up Animal? No, first orbit flight crewed. Okay. And our crew will be ready by July 31st in a year. So we don't really have to rush. Let's take a look at our programs. Ah, what the heck is this window? Ship manifest roster, I did not ask for you. Did I ask for it to come up? No. Anyway. So, while they are training, because that's going to take a while, hopefully not too long, we do have to, so we're going to do first orbital flight crewed and then we have to EVA them, rendezvous, dock, and EVA does require astronaut complex, so actually let's start that. So we're building the astronaut complex upgrades so that they can EVA. We do have a fair amount of funds so it shouldn't kill us. And while they are training for all of that, we are going to do the lunar landing mission, I think. This we can complete. I think we're done. So... We did complete that. Um, we only have one slot. Maybe we should also queue up an extra slot for the admin building. I think we have enough money altogether. We lose. Oh, maybe not. Okay. Um, let's not prioritize that so much. That can slow down too. Okay. So that'll be balanced enough. And so we're building both of those, and then we'll be able to pick up the. After we do the crude lunar stuff, we'll make sure to have a good geostationary satellite network that has good power, and then we can actually have comms at that level instead of the lower level ones.